a baby is born to a mother with the scarring of the skin and the short limbs as shown in the following image what is the probable cause of this congenital infection what is the probable cause of this congenital infection well the answer is hhv3 no doubt in that human herpes virus 3 and human herpes virus 3 is which particular virus guys varicella okay varicella zoster okay varicella zoster which is also termed as chicken pox virus chicken pox virus and how to remember that hhv3 is chicken pox because number of fellows they still think that chicken pox is a pox virus chicken pox is not a pox virus it's a herpes virus which number hhv3 it is hhv3 fine how to remember this 3 c which alphabet third alphabet okay so answer is chicken pox virus remember here only to avoid your confusion varicella zoster is the name of the virus okay varicella zoster is the name of the virus and what is the reactivation of this what is the reactivation of chicken pox disease the reactivation of chicken pox disease is termed as what guys herpes zoster this is termed as reactivation this is termed as what this is termed as reactivation so reactivation is termed as herpes zoster number of students that don't know this varicella zoster is the name of the virus and herpes zoster is reactivation which is also termed as what guys shingles which is also termed as what guys shingles fine and in this herpes zoster only two things they come herpes zoster otitis and herpes zoster ophthalmicus okay single sided lesion of the face and the body okay so that is herpes zoster ophthalmicus and herpes zoster otitis is what ramsey hunt syndrome bell's palsy along with vesicles that is what is termed as herpes zoster otitis geniculate ganglion is involved fine so obviously we are talking about which particular syndrome here guys we are talking about congenital varicella syndrome which is obviously very less common nowadays okay but the hints which are there in the question is carrying that is this sicket rising you call it in the scientific world and the short limbs limb hypoplasia along with choreoretinitis these are the features of this congenital varicella stuff okay first of all you should know this then after this particular one we can discuss up the herpes stuff and in the herpes you know hsv1 is what herpes simplex virus 1 hsv2 is what herpes simplex virus 2 herpes simplex virus 1 causes lesions above the waist and herpes simplex virus 2 causes lesion below the waist okay below the waist now you tell me this that hsv1 hsv1 this particular one involves a which lobe in the brain which particular lobe is being involved of this by this particular hsv1 can you tell me the hsv1 involves a which particular lobe and which leads to which particular encephalitis by this particular one yes can you tell me so guys if the question is telling again and again regarding the temporal lobe okay temporal lobe temporal lobe encephalitis is being done by this hsv1 okay and this hsv1 is also responsible for a unique type of meningitis and the name of the meningitis is what guys mularitz meningitis and what is mularitz meningitis recurrent lymphocytic meningitis means lymphocytes will be there and it is coming again and again okay so if the question is saying in the medicine the temporal lobe is involved on the mri your answer moves towards what hsv1 okay and which meningitis mularitz meningitis recurrent lymphocytic meningitis one of the most important stuff another one this hsv1 associates with acute dendritic ulcer in the eyes and which particular drug is contraindicated for this steroid should not be given what should be given acyclovir okay what should be given acyclovir so this is also important and this hsv1 you already know it leads to this herpes labialis gingivitis stomatitis and all that stuff and which is the most common recurrent herpes lesion that is the herpes labialis okay herpes labialis that is there and as you are telling in the comment section hsv2 associates with genital lesions mostly hsv1 can also does it but obviously hsv2 more than hsv1 associates with genital involvement and in this the question which recently came in the neat pg is that suppose a mother is there like a pregnant female is there which is near the ed okay which is near the expected date of delivery 
develop the infection HSV2, what should be done to avoid the transmission to the newborn? So obviously you should give what? A cyclovir injection and you should go for which particular stuff? That is cesarean section. Okay, which you should, you should go for cesarean section and you should give this particular injection, A cyclovir, to avoid the transmission to the newborn. This is also being asked. Another important question that Zang smear, Zang smear is being done for which particular herpes viruses? So answer is Zang smear is being done guys for HSV1, HSV2 and HHV3. All the three alpha Vindi members, all the three, they are there in which you can go for Zang smear. Okay, you can go for Zang smear. And what you observe in Zang smear guys? In this, you observe the Zang cells and which are multinucleated giant cells, which are multinucleated giant cells you observe in this particular Zang smear. Okay, okay. So all these particular important points you need to remember. Other than that, what else? Let's talk about this guys because there is no question regarding it. HHV4, human herpes virus 4. So can you tell me in the comment section, can you tell me in the comment section, the human herpes virus 4, this particular one, Epstein-Barr virus, human herpes virus is Epstein-Barr virus. Which particular cells are involved by this? It involves up, it infects up which particular cells? B cells. Okay. It involves up which particular cells? B cells. And these particular B cells, they have which marker over them? Why the Epstein-Barr virus is like attracted towards the B cell? Which particular marker is there? So that is CD21 CR2. Another neat PG question which came. Okay. Another neat PG question which came that which particular receptors are there over the B cells because of which this particular Epstein-Barr virus affects towards that. Okay, so it infects up what guys? It infects up the B cells and that is which markers are over there? CD21, CR2. Remember this particular one. Okay, and Epstein-Barr virus, what is the name guys? HHV4, human herpes virus 4. How to remember? The students have only made the mnemonic for this. What is that? Epstein-Barr, the bar opens up to 4 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so HHV4, human herpes virus 4, Epstein-Barr. Okay, and if you are talking about the bar only, remember this particular thing also, that what is the legal age of drinking in India? That is 21 years. Now you will not forget that which receptors are there? The answer is CD21. And Pratusha, you have wonderfully told that which all infections and carcinomas, they've been done by this particular stuff. The answer is nasopharyngeal cancer, Hodgkin's non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Burkitt's lymphoma, oral hairy leukoplakia, Okay, oral hairy leukoplakia. This oral hairy leukoplakia was asked in the INICD exam. Lateral side of the tongue, a whitish color lesion. And common in whom? Common in HIV positive. Done by what? Epstein-Barr virus. Done by what? Epstein-Barr virus. Okay, so this is also there regarding the human herpes virus 4. And Paul Bunnell test is positive here. And atypical lymphocytes are seen. What is these? atypical lymphocytes which are being observed in the human herpes virus 4 infection infectious mononucleosis. Can you tell me? Atypical lymphocytes of which one? What are these atypical lymphocytes which are observed in the infectious mononucleosis? Can you tell? Atypical lymphocytes are which one? Because it affects of which particular cells? B cells. But actually these atypical lymphocytes are which one? Downies. Downy cells are which one? That's what I'm asking. Which cells are these? They are atypical lymphocytes and they are larger in size and they are CD8. Wonderful. They are CD8 cytotoxic T cells. See the magic. It is affecting of what? B cells. And what is increasing? Atypical lymphocytes. Which one? CD8 T cells. This you should remember. Okay. This you should remember in this particular one. And for this, we have now, nowadays, we have PCR also for the Ibn and Vaka. And Ibn is Epstein Barbar's nucleic acid. And Vaka is what? Viral capsid antigen. Okay. Now, one of the important human herpes virus is remaining up. Let me talk about that also. And that particular one is what, guys? That is 
ह्यूमन हर्पीज वायरस फाइव ह्यूमन हर्पीज वायरस फाइव एंड ह्यूमन हर्पीज वायरस फाइव इज द नेम ऑफ वॉट गाइस ह्यूमन हर्पीज वायरस फाइव इट इज द नेम ऑफ सी एम बी साइटोमेगेलो वायरस हाउ टू रिमेंबर सी एम वी चूज फॉर हाउ मेनी इयर्स फाइव ईयर्स सी एम वी चूज फॉर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स एंड दिस इज वॉट इज टर्म डैस साइटोमेगेलो वायरस एंड साइटोमेगेलो वायरस वेन एवर इट कम्स इमिडिएटली वॉट शुड कम इन योर माइंड दिस आवल आई अपियरेंस एंड वॉट इज दिस आवल आई अपियरेंस गाइज इंट्रा न्यूक्लियर इंट्रा साइटोप्लाज्मिक Inclusion body, intranuclear, intracytoplasmic inclusion body, they are having this aval eye appearance. Okay, now can you tell me which other guy is having this same intranuclear intracytoplasmic inclusion body? The answer is measles. The answer is in the measles virus, this inclusion body is observed both, and in the measles, these intranuclear intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies they are also termed as what guys? That is also a question. Warden Finkelde giant cells. Warden Finkelde giant cells. That is the name of this particular measles inclusion body. Okay, and uh, this CMV is a very potent in like uh, causal agent of post kidney transplant infections and post any solid organ transplant. This particular one can do a problem. And as you are telling your drug of choice. That in this there is a periventricular calcification which is observed in the congenital CMV. So this question came that in the congenital CMV, what is the most common feature? First of all, you should know the most common feature in congenital CMV is hepatosplenomegaly. To your surprise, the answer is hepatosplenomegaly. That is there. Okay, this particular along with all these calcifications, as you have told up your drug of choice, that is periventricular calcifications are observed. So That is there. Choroiditis is everywhere. So all these particular stuffs is there in this one. Fine. Other than that, CMV is famous to does what CMV retinitis and CMV retinitis. As somebody is telling in the comment section, it is having pizza pie retinopathy. This question can come now. Pizza pie retinopathy and this CMV retinitis happens to be at which feet CD4 count, guys? CD4 count of less than fifty. Which other infection happens at a CD4 count of less than fifty? Which other infection happens at CD4 count of less than fifty? The answer to this particular question is what, guys? At the CD4 count of less than fifty, which other infection can happen? MAC. And what is MAC? Mycobacterium avium complex. Okay. So in whom? In HIV positive. Okay. So this question also you should know that atypical mycobacterium, which one MAC infection also happens at CD4 count of less than fifty. And CMV retinitis, they constantly ask regarding the drug of choice for this. That is gancyclovir. And well, gancyclovir is the drug of choice, Patricia. Wonderful for this CMV retinitis. This is common in the post kidney transplant stuff also, and any other solid solid organ transplantation. This is their bone marrow transplantation also. Also, CMV can cause a problem, and mostly it does what CMV pneumonia. It does what atypical pneumonia term does what CMV pneumonia. And it does mononucleosis like syndrome. Infectious mononucleosis is done by what? Epstein Barr virus, and it does what? Mononucleosis like syndrome. Okay.